So as I promised uh, to share with you about the story of a young boy uh, who grew up on a farm and uh, he had the tendency to want to to draw all over uh, the barn as a young boy and to kind of neglect somewhat his uh, responsibilities and and his father just had a tendency to get so frustrated with him and he's like what are you doing boy why are you wasting all this time drawing all over the barn and drawing animals and drawing this and just wasting time why don't you just stick to your work and stay on that and Fortunately, he had a mother who kind of balanced out his father a little bit also and was like, no, 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 don't, don't pressure him too much. Um, and this young boy, you know, he, he grew up, he started to study, uh, you know, accounting and finance and business. And um, he, he started to get in this, but he just wasn't, wasn't that passionate, wasn't that connected with about it. And so um, he ended up stopping some of those studies and started getting into drawing. Um, so in art and drawing, uh, and he found that he had a great passion um, for drawing caricatures and just drawing it. So he really loved it. So he started to develop a um, to d develop his artistic ability to bring together a team that would work around him. Um, and he, what he did with his team, he said, "Hey, um, I've got a great vision. I've got a great idea, but I can't pay you anything. But if you'll join with me in this vision, he's like, I know that." You know, we can get contracts from New York or Los Angeles or different places, um, organizations that will want to buy our drawings, that will want to buy our, our caricatures. And um, he, he got, got some people that were convinced to say, all right, we'll, we'll buy into this vision. You know, he brought them on board and where do you think their first office was? It was in that barn. So they, they started in their, um, their office in this barn and, and started to, to get moving and to going ahead from there. And then... Um, started to get some contracts it was just kind of barely enough to, to start paying some of the bills and then things just started to unravel so then all of a sudden you know they moved into a bigger place but then they couldn't pay the rent um, and the the companies who said that they were gonna pay stopped paying and uh, all you know the promises were fulfilled and you know uh, his team started to say to him hey how do you expect us to, to do this we've got families to feed and we've got um, you know homes to pay for you know how can we do this and uh, he ended up going bankrupt. Uh, and this was in Kansas City in, in America. And he ended up going bankrupt and you know, almost ended up on the streets and, and wasn't able to, to pay for things. And, and he was just having a really hard time. And uh, he did some other work for a little while. And a couple years later, he got an opportunity to go out to California. And uh, this young man you know, said, you know what? Didn't work the first time, but I've learned. Maybe I can see about doing this again. There's, there's, I heard there's great opportunities out in California. So he took a train and basically pretty much all of his savings that he had saved up, um, he paid for that, that train ticket um, and went out to Los Angeles. And uh, he, he started to, he got one small contract out there, you know, drawing some caricatures and he, he messaged back to, to Kansas City. He said, hey team, I've got a great opportunity. I'm not able to pay you right now. But I really believe in it. And if you'll give me one more chance, I hope I can make it up to you and we can, I believe we can really make this a success. And uh, so, again, they were, they were trusted in. It's like, well, he still owes us a bit of money. Maybe we can help him, you know, get us to get paid that back and some of the other stuff as well. So they went out to, uh, to California, to Los Angeles, and uh, they started to, to move forward and to get some of the caricatures drawn. And, started to get moving, started to get a little bit of payment. And then all of a sudden their, their client, you know, came out from New York again and had been working something to try to take over the company that this man had started. So trying to cause divisions and rifts in between uh, the, the staff and the team there. And this, uh, this young man who was the, the director of this, you know, found out about that and, uh, you know, had gone to New York and then had come back and and realized that they were trying to, to buy him out all of the years of hard work and that he everything found out that they had actually taken the rights to, to some of the caricatures that he had developed and he was at another point, another breaking point. He was ready to think, you know, what am I what am I gonna do? They were on the verge of, of bankruptcy again. Um, you know, and just somebody had just taken all of their intellectual property, taken all the work that they had done and they couldn't really do anything about it. And he was thinking and thinking and you know what to do. And he came up with an idea. And that idea was of a mouse. And that mouse 
was named Mickey Mouse. And the name of the man was Walt Disney. He had gone through bankruptcy virtually twice. He had had his company taken from him. He had had things stolen from him. And because he didn't give up on his passions, because he didn't give up on what he believed in, he was able to bless pretty much the entire world, you know, and to develop some of the most famous characters for children across the world to, to bring joy, to bring happiness, to bring life to, to so many people, millions upon tens of millions of people, uh, because he didn't give up on the vision, because he didn't give up on what he believed in. Uh, and as you hear this story, I hope that it encourages and inspires you to not just do what makes money, but to really tap into what are you passionate about? What do you, what do you have dreams about? That I believe also if you, if you don't give up on those, that you will find the passion, you will find the purpose, you will find the destiny for which you were created. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next video.